Crypto Activator here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to walk you through how you can connect your Ledger hardware wallet to MetaMask so that you can protect your private key and keep your crypto safe. All right, so let's get started. All right, here we are on the Ledger website. People have asked me, how do I connect Ledger with MetaMask so that I could interact with DeFi protocols using MetaMask as well as my Ledger wallet? Well, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step in this video how to do so. First, I wanna make mention of a few important details. And that is number one, if you do not have a Ledger wallet and you plan on buying a Ledger wallet or any other hardware wallet for all that matters, always do so only from the official website. Never go to Amazon or Best Buy or anywhere else and purchase the wallet. Only do so from the official website. Now next, why do I wanna have a Ledger wallet connected with MetaMask? You've heard it said that not your keys, not your crypto. Okay, I got it, I get it, I understand that, right? MetaMask, it's my wallet. I have the seed phrase, I have the private key. So what's wrong with that? Very good question, in fact. Okay, the, the answer is this. Where's your private key? Where's your seed phrase? It's in your wallet, right? Where's your wallet? Well, if it's MetaMask, your wallet is an extension on the browser. And the browser is where? Online, on the internet, right? Okay, so your browser, your MetaMask wallet is able to be hacked. It's open to hackers. Now, what about a Ledger wallet or any other hardware wallet? Well, this here is a Ledger wallet. This is not connected to the internet. This holds private key. That is why it's safe. It's only connected when you connect it to do a transaction. Make sense? Okay, so now let's go get this MetaMask wallet, download the extension onto our browser, and then I will show you how to connect the ledger to MetaMask, okay? Head over to MetaMask. Okay, here we are on MetaMask. You can install this extension on several different browsers now. Brave, Firefox, Edge, Chrome. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do it on Chrome. It's pretty similar on any website browser though, okay? So when we're here, we're gonna go and we're going to click on where it says download. Now it brings us down to the place where it's got a little blue button that says install MetaMask on Chrome. This is what we're gonna click. This then brings us to the web store where we could add the extension to Chrome. Another important reminder is this, never go directly to the web store and search for the browser extension MetaMask only go to the website, the official website for MetaMask again, and click on that blue button and then come to this store, okay? Remember that. So now that we're here, we're going to click Add to Chrome. We're going to add the extension. Okay, now that we've added the extension, we can go over here and let the fox follow our mouse just a little bit in a circle while we go over and click Agree and Create New Wallet. And then on this page, we are going to create a password and then... Okay, and then now on this page, this is where your seed phrase is going to be for MetaMask. And if you're just using MetaMask, of course, this is where you want to write that down, keep that protected at all costs, right? But you know what? We're not gonna worry about this right now because we are going to be using our Ledger device, okay? So we're just going to click on remind me later wallet creation is successful click on got it now that our wallet is installed on chrome as an extension here we are simple as that it's just showing us some news what's new here in metamask we'll just exit out okay so now to connect your hardware wallet to metamask we of course need to plug our wallet into the computer okay so we're gonna take our Ledger wallet and I'm going to assume that you've already gone through the process of actually setting up your Ledger wallet, okay? So then we're going to, I've got a computer back here I'm gonna connect it to. Now after you plug it in, you need to enter in your PIN code. Okay, after you've entered in your PIN code, you're then going to select the network Ethereum. Okay, now your device is ready. 
So now we're going to go and connect the device to MetaMask. And you'll see right here where this circle is. We click on this circle and open up the menu. See where it says connect hardware wallet? Click that. Now you have a menu of which hardware wallet it is that you are going to connect. And of course we are connecting Ledger. So we will select Ledger and then we will click continue. Then it gives you a menu of which device it is that it's finding. Well, it's, it says here Nano S. So I have the Ledger Nano S. I'm going to select that and then I'm going to click connect. Okay, now that that's selected, it has found my Ledger. There is a drop down here for your HD path. Okay, there's a little drop down. We'll click the drop down. You can, there's, you know, you can use Ledger Live. I choose not to. I choose just to use what is the, uh, it says right here, BIP44 standard example, MetaMask or Trezor, right? So we are going to select this one. It makes things much easier. So now we're going to select Nano S again. We will click connect. Now we are going to select which account. You can, you can in fact select several accounts if you want or you can just select one. So I will just select this one here, click unlock. And then there you go. Simple as that. I have now connected my ledger device to MetaMask. Okay. So I can, well, there you go. It's really that simple how to connect your ledger to MetaMask. If you did find this helpful, if you did find any value at all in this, you know what to do. I'd really appreciate it if you did. Smash that like button. Drop me a comment down below. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're enjoying the content that I am putting out here, why not click subscribe? Click the bell so you're notified when new videos are released. I do have another video right about here that I believe YouTube is recommending for you. Click on over there. I'll see you there. And in the meantime, you have a great day. Bye for now.